Placentia Chamber. This is Eric Holmgren, and today I am with Mo Gazi at Fresh Off the Boat Fish Grill here in beautiful Placentia. Mo, this is a lovely restaurant. Is this your first restaurant? <laughs> no, this is my 21st restaurant. Okay. I uh, actually opened my first restaurant in 1998 in Corona del Mar. Uh, Cafe Panini, the original one. Wow. Which there's 14 of them now. And uh, I sold all of them in 2008 and retired. And, and what got you out to do some more? Um, 10 years of golf was getting boring, <laughs> pretty much. So I decided in 2008 to uh, open a new concept uh, at Mexican Mediterranean Fish Grill with all my best seller at all my other restaurants. And knock on wood, it's worked out pretty well. <laughs> Good. Now, I understand that you have created the menu yourself and the dishes yourself, is that correct? Yes, these are all my recipes. Uh, some of them, my mom's recipes. Some of them, I twisted them a little bit. But yeah, these are all, I actually train Every restaurant, I train all the cooks for about three weeks, and I tell them once I'm done, I'm not coming back here, so they all get it. Now, with so many restaurants that you have had, um, what would you say is the key to your success with your restaurants? To be honest with you, just good food. Um, people always ask me, even in 2008, when we had the recession, all my restaurant did well. Um, it's all about food. And, you know, obviously service is very important, but um, when you have good food, it's, uh, it's hard not to succeed. <laughs> I'm sure. Well, yeah. you know, it doesn't matter where you might be. They'll find you, exactly. if good food, people will come for it. Exactly. Now, uh, as a business person, I had a chance to watch you a little bit um, schmoozing with the customers. <laughs> uh, I do the same thing at, at my business. Um, so what are some of the things that you do to try to find the right people to represent you? Because you can't be at all your restaurants at the same time, I presume. Correct. It's, uh, that's basically the challenge. Uh, the challenge that I have is uh, most, most restaurants have, their challenges are within their products. They don't have very good products, so it makes it really hard for them. They have to advertise and then follow up on the advertise, bring them back and so forth. I basically have, I just, all I need is one shot. One time you eat here, you're done. <laughs> so that's that makes it really e uh, easy. But the challenge comes with um, obviously, like you said, finding people that can represent me uh, at all the restaurants. And I've uh, been lucky so far, but uh, that's a challenge. I'm, so what are, what are some of the techniques or what are some of the things that you're thinking about when you're looking to hire people to come in and, and work? Well, um, first of all, I really want people that like to stay in this business and thrive in an uh, uh, environment that they know you're going to open more and they can, you know, if they stay with the program, they can, you know, uh, become wealthy in this business. Most people that in the United States, uh, all the uh, corporate, all the chains, those are the people that, you know, obviously have the you know, most amount of wealth. Right. <laughs> so they, everybody knows it's, it's an easy thing to do, but uh, it's still, you need uh, people's help to, to so, thrive. So with, with, when you're looking to hire someone, they have long-term potential with you and your restaurant and your restaurants Absolutely. as you franchise or as you expand. So I, I might start off as 
at the front counter or in the in the Absolutely. as a cook, but maybe have a chance to make my way up to be manager or general manager or some type of thing. Okay? Absolutely. Good. Um, and and with the sort of people that you're hiring, are you is it like you're looking for young people, or you're looking for people who've got a particular skill set, or it's just uh, you know maybe their outlook? Um, basically, it doesn't matter. I could uh, I have people that are as uh, old as 18 that I felt they have something and. Uh, Usually, I'm right. They stay in this business at, at age 25. They, you know, they become a trainer, and just a trainer in a, uh, a chain, they make 150, 200 thousand dollars a year. So, um, I've gone through a lot of people. So the age, I don't like people that have bad habits already uh, in restaurant business. I just look for potential. If somebody is a go-getter and they like to make a lot of money, those are the people I like to uh, work with, train them, and, and show them how easy it is to make a lot of money. That's good. Yeah. Because a lot of times I think people think that the restaurant business is you know, low wages and, and kind of a dead end type of a thing. It sounds like you found a way to get people motivated and compensate them and give them a reason to stay loyal to you Absolutely. and not have this sort of turnaround that's very frequent. Absolutely. So. They were talking about, uh, you know, minimum wage going to 15. I started pretty much everybody at 15, so it really doesn't matter. Right. And if they're good, they stay with the company. They make more and more. And if they're not good, I just uh, hire somebody else. Right. It's pretty simple. Yeah. <laughs> I like to keep things simple. That's, I think it's successful. You've got, you know, a nice, you know, simple menu, but delicious. Thank you. And then, uh, you know, keeping things very straightforward with all the other elements of the business too. Um, now, obviously we've got COVID-19 going on and whenever this is broadcast, it might still, it probably still will be going on. So how are some ways that people can enjoy the food here? Well, in Placentia, we have a great, uh, patio that I just uh, got the permit from the city and the landlord to cover uh, and uh, it's uh, it holds a lot of people inside so we got lucky here at Tustin I have uh, I have uh, some uh, I don't have a patio but I have a sidewalk and uh, we're basically putting tables out in the basically parking lot okay so there's always we find a way to uh, take care of you but uh, we have a, we do a lot of takeouts okay um, at, especially at Tustin we do a lot of takeouts and, and uh, people can order online or they can phone in their they order can order online they can uh, pick up curbside they can obviously come and enjoy it here okay um, yeah but we, we do pretty well with takeouts good and then just to entice everybody what's one of your favorite dishes here um, one of the well they're all good but uh, right now my best seller is uh, the grilled barramundi with the uh, barracusano sauce that goes on top it's a uh, amazing dish and the, the fish itself, it's uh, very few people know about it. It's got more omega-3 than uh, salmon. Wow. Twice as much. Five ounce has 833 milligram of uh, omega-3. Wow. It's quite a fish and uh, it's amazing. Okay, well, sign me up. Um, <laughs> Before we wrap things up, Mo, it, did you have any other words of wisdom or encouragement to share with our friends out in the Placentia community? Not really. I uh, just want to invite everybody to come and try the food here and uh, let me uh, get you to eat a little better than you're doing because everything we make here is very fresh and we use very good oils. That's uh, we change the oil in our fryer even every other day. So okay. everything is fresh and I'd love to see you guys there. Okay, well awesome. Mo, it was a great pleasure to meet you and see your fine restaurant. 
And until our next episode, everybody, be well. Thank you. <laughs>